Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another video here and I'm going to answer a question that um, I guess people have kind of noticed in my videos, in my live streams when I talk about T-Mobile, Sprint, and I identify it as an absorption and uh, people are just like, it's a merger, it's a merger, but um, I kind of want to help clarify this so people kind of understand uh, what exactly is happening here. Now, for some of you guys who don't care, that's pretty cool. It is what it is. But for some people who want to know why I call it an absorption, I'm about to clarify that. So when it comes to a merger, okay, I'm going to go by definition here. There are two types of mergers, okay? Um, amalgamation is, is one form, and the other form is absorption, all right? Now, the definition for amalgamation occurs when two or more companies decide to unite to carry on their business together. In other words, it is a merger of one or more companies with another in such way that all assets, liabilities of the amalgamating companies um, become assets and liabilities of the amalgamated company, which is the one that is being designated to close down. Uh, in regards to ownership, shareholders of not less than the certain value level of the shares uh, in the amalgamating company or companies become shareholders of the amalgamated company, okay? Uh, usually after amalgamation, the amalgamated company has a new name and a separate legal existence, which has assets and liabilities of the two companies. Um, absorption is a form of merger where there is a combination of two or more companies into an existing company. In the case of absorption, only one company survives and all others lose their identity. Usually companies which acquiring the other companies, the buyer, survives, while the acquired companies, the sellers, cease to exist. Acquired companies transfers its assets, liabilities, and shares to acquiring company. Thus, the company that absorbs acquires all the rights and obligations of the company that is absorbed. That's the reason why I call the T-Mobile and Sprint merger more of an absorption. Sprint is a failing company, and we know this, right? We, we know this. Without T-Mobile, they pretty much are a dying company. SoftBank has been hemorrhaging money for the longest time, and they're quite sick of it, and obviously this seems to be the best route for them to go. Um, T-Mobile looks to acquire its assets, Band 41 in specific, and the spectrum that T-Mobile, not T-Mobile, but Sprint holds. The name Sprint dies. It's like as if, boom, complete erased from history. It will no longer be um, Sprint. Now, people could tout out about, well, it is going to have a new name. They're going to call themselves the new T-Mobile, but... How long is that going to last? And is the name really called the new T-Mobile? And if it is, how long will that last? Like I said, eventually it's going to be ridiculous to be called the new T-Mobile 10 years from now. So it's just eventually going to avert back to the name T-Mobile, which is the name that everybody knows, right? This, you know, it was voice stream once, became T-Mobile, has stayed T-Mobile, absorbed Sprint, the new T-Mobile, back to T-Mobile, okay? Um, so... That is hopefully a definition for a lot of people who are just wondering, like, why do you keep calling it absorbing? It's not. They're merging. No, they're not. They're not merging to become a bigger company under a new identity. They are going to stay T-Mobile, regardless if they're called the new T-Mobile or just T-Mobile. They're going to stay T-Mobile, and the name Sprint dies. The company Sprint dies completely, right? People are worried about what's going to happen with jobs and, and stuff like that. And there's already being mentions of like certain Sprint stores, certain Sprint call centers where people are just, you know, being given their, their pink slip, the handshake. Thank you for your service. And probably, you know, a good recommendation for wherever else they, you know, they apply for. Doesn't mean everybody that's, that's under Sprint is going to be hired into T-Mobile right away or automatically, right? Um, some of them are just going to lose their jobs. So this is an absorption. They're being absorbed. That's what's happening. Their assets, the things that they have, the spectrum that they own is going to become T-Mobile's. Yes, members of Sprint's board is going to sit on the board of T-Mobile. But T-Mobile is the company itself. They did not come together to build a new company under a new identity. They are going to remain as T-Mobile. 
So that is my explanation of why I say it's an absorption, not necessarily them coming together, creating a new company. They like to pitch that idea. I know in the very beginning of the merger, they were talking about it. Both the, the, um, the CEO at the time of Sprint and John Ledger, the CEO of T-Mobile, were doing videos together talking about they were going to create this new company that was going to compete against Verizon and AT&T. But it's, necess it's not necessarily a new company, right? It's really not. It's just one company absorbing another one to then become a contender against Verizon and AT&T. That's all it is. So thank you for your time, for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you have not. If you did, I thank you so much for doing so. And you can hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload other videos. And that is it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to check out my audio podcast that is going to drop tomorrow. Um, so be expecting that on your whatever podcast source you listen to for audio podcasts. Or you can go to Anchor and find my podcast there too as well. Um, but again, talk to you all tomorrow. Aloha.